In this game again, uh, we, we don't have the uh, the structure laid out yet for what path they're going to be taking here. You know, there's a little bit of ambiguity in, in TVT where you get you both get a command center, then you get a factory and a starport, and there's a mm -hmm. bunch of different ways you could take the game yeah, from there. Yeah. It actually allows for a lot of variety in the early game overall. Sure, there's a lot of different choices that can be made. There's a lot of different like small unit sets that you can choose to go with. And in this small unit set and the strate the, the, the the spirit of the strategy behind it, it's going to be a very quick drop. Mm. Now he knows there's still been no Viking made, so he's going to try to act as a threat on the map here. And uh, there are Marines out on the map here for TY, so TY actually has to turn back around. And again, hey. This I is, mean, he's finding a little tiny bit, at least. Right now, this is uh, much more used to try to pin TY inside of his base while Maro tries to uh, grow and flourish on the map. Look at this now. Good usage of the Cyclone, especially to chip the tank. Yeah, that's and, really In a nice. point in the game like this, where that could be a, one less siege tank shot to kill him. Here comes a drop now. Now, there's a, a threat over here from above, but there's also a drop in the main. Oh, my God. Imagine if he could get Sim. Just barely does not. Yeah. Stim finishes up. Gets the tech lab, though. Oh, he actually disables on the two medevacs. I think it's going to wear off, though, in time for him to get out, right? I think you're right. In the meantime, he is trying to push up with these siege shanks at the third base. Oh, my God. Maro's going to get a full kill on this. Oh, nice punish there from Maro. Oh, no, and TY overextending with those tanks. He has to back up. Now, 14 SCDs were killed back there. Yeah, However, nothing. Maro really didn't lose much army at all. Now, I wonder if Maro has counterattack potential. Injured tanks fleeing across the map. They need to be repaired immediately. Mm -hmm. So behind this all, we have Maro taking another base. Oh, wow, is he going to go for this? This is crazy. This is insane. This is actually probably a mistake here. Uh, no doubt that was There's a mistake. There's no way for him to boost out. He actually boosted before he went in. Oh, he lost a lot during that, too. Yeah, that was actually. He basically lost two medevacs full of Marines, 20 supply down the drain. And this is while he's taking a fourth base behind all this. And we do have these upgrades kind of coming to fruition now, right? Like 2-2 two -two is going to be finishing here for Maru very shortly, then for TUI not long after that. See Maru kind of pushing around the map a little bit, keeping some control. Scans come down everywhere. The last thing you want to do in a game like this is step into Siege Tank splash damage and just have huge amounts of your army chunked off. Um, and we're starting to see the balance of the map pan out here as the Terran in blue will spread towards the upper right. A red Terran towards the bottom left as we have these empty expansion locations filled in here. Yeah, TY starting to spread out through the center of the map a little bit. Of course, as soon as you do that, a scan comes down to check what are you actually up to. He's spreading out his units quite a bit as he decides to take that fifth base on location. Bunch of command centers coming down for Maru now as well. Of course, we see that Corvid reactor for uh, TY a little bit quicker. That's been a bit of a theme. He has really liked going to the Ravens. Another attack comes through. Looks like he wants to run to where planetaries are. Mm. The planetary is the one unit that kind of covers the tanks even when the disables occur. Yeah. And again, Maro has not been cracked yet. No, he has not. It's getting kind of crazy. <laughs> Look at this, 11 Vikings versus 13. Maru doesn't even have a medevac at this point. He's focusing on tanks. He's focusing on Vikings. He's focusing on Raven. So he's already kind of gone to mostly his end game composition. TY, on the other hand, still playing with Marines with medevacs a bit more, but actually going to BCs faster. So yes. we almost, we have right now kind of a slightly more cost efficient army for Maru, but a much more mobile and dangerous army as far as moving quickly across the map for TY. Right. Here he comes now. A scan comes through. And again, it doesn't seem like there's really any area that TY can try to force his way through. This really highlights how many narrow valleys there are you have to run through if you really want to take a fight. And now Mara with an even tiny army uh, comes through and starts to do damage, drawing TY further back up. 3-3 three, three about to finish here for Maru. And you know, you mentioned those battle cruisers earlier on, but Oh, that's annoying. He's going to get every SCV here. Mm. I mean, Maro might be too big in that amount of time. 
My well, God. He, that almost helps the BCs, <laughs> to be honest, when you think about it. I can't believe what these are doing, these stupid Marines. Yeah. These Marines that were supposed to just, he was supposed to stop looking at and were supposed to die. How they run through the map and kill six SCBs and cancel command centers. Yeah, it's like, what? Yeah, it's crazy. Mario is very turtled up. Has no interest in actually trying to take a fight. Here come those disables I mentioned earlier. Yeah, this is this is such a cool game from TY right now. Look at this, just punching forward, getting through a lot of these very quickly. Gets all the siege tanks in the area, and just causing damage, causing havoc. Yeah, he's doing a great job so far. A scan as he pulls away, and uh, TY is doing damage. I don't know if it's at the same degree that we saw there. Uh, on the other side of the map, you know, with the infantry army, but TY really starting to take the initiative as Mario is in here on the defense. Great job gunning down those tanks with the Yamato oh, gun. Oh, yeah, and just jumps right out of Perfect. there, loses nothing. This is some beautiful play coming out of TY, and the way he was able to do this is kind of like a concept called leapfrogging, where you're actually jumping over whole tech groups. Yeah. Like, he went from his Marines, instead of doubling down on siege tanks like you see a lot of the time in Marine tank versus Marine tank, he jumped up heavily into air. So he's just using mobility right now. He's just running around the map. It's a very difficult style to play, uh, especially against something like what Maru has. But if you can split it up like TY is doing, you can see how strong it can be. Yeah, it's really smart here. Auto turret's coming down now. Uh, and we're going to see TY actually close in on some of those tanks here from Maru. He Huge. does take them out, and a wall of auto turrets allows TY to then escape behind it. I Such love, important moves. I love the usage of the auto turrets. Yeah. He takes a fight, and then he knows, okay, if you stim and chase me, I lose. But if I put the auto turrets down here, you have to walk away. Mm -hmm. I get to keep my core tech. The only thing I'm losing is Marines. Now here he goes once again, stimming down. You see the sea shanks are coming. These entrenched positions that Maru's going to have are going to be really strong, and TY has to run from them. Right now, TY is really re uh, revolving his whole strategy around outmaneuvering Maru, but if Maru yeah. takes it slower like we see him doing now, you just don't see as much damage done to it. Here come those BCs now. Uh, and we have the, the Vikings coming here. They're going to get maybe Oh, a, he needs a jump. He needs, he needs a, jump. a jump now, man. He scans. He sees it. Meanwhile, Maru pushing up here. Good escape. Oh, he does jump right out. I think he saved every BC. Yeah, but what did he actually do with that? Not much. We're he now killed on, turrets. Like, what is it? 71 second cooldown for another jump? Yeah. He killed. Yeah, you're right. He killed five, six turrets, a, maybe a depot. I don't know, an eBay that wasn't being used. It pretty much didn't do anything. Yeah, it's not that big a deal for Maru. Maru now is going to push this planetary. I think he's going to kill it and also actually outgrow TY by having every base on the map here. Well, he is not done with these BCs. These cannot jump out, so they'll have to get in here, do damage, and then run away. Notice we are going to see a lot of skins. He's actually got units in between. Look at that beautiful move with these Marines. He's trying to catch the Ravens on their way over. It slows him down and tells him exactly where they're at. But Maru now pushing up here in the upper right, taking out the new command centers as the upper right quadrant of the map is crumbling. The CC's been reclaimed. Mm. I think Maru is very close to victory. I don't know if these battle cruisers <laughs> are doing the damage they need to do. Yeah, it's a good question, but you know what? The battle cruisers can rotate over here quicker than that air army that we have for Maru. So if he does that, battle cruisers will slaughter an army like this. Instead, he actually brings his own Ravens over, disables, and he will be able to clean that up as well. Great yeah. play here. Yeah. Now, I, I mean, I think that that move was still okay from Maru, but I feel like if these are the comps that we're gonna see, Maru does need to take it a little bit slowly. His entrenched positions can't be broken if he's got his army together, right? Right. But when he's splitting off smaller groups, that's where TY can start to really hurt him. Okay. TY now pushing out. Now this location, I think mm. he can take the fight, but there's almost no resources there. Yeah, that is true. But I think at this point, you have to kill anything you can. Like even this area with the turrets to kill, that's another possible area for him to hit again later. Sure. You have to always be working on killing things. Now keep in mind, uh, TY is barely mining here. He's reclaiming these bases in the upper right, but if TY gets pushed and loses a fight here again, which I think we're gonna see, I don't know if he's gonna lose it, but there's gonna be a fight here. It's pretty much everything that Maru has is headed northbound into this area. I 
You know, you don't have endless command centers in TVT. It looks like you do, but the, <laughs> these things do cost a lot. Are you sure about I'm that? I'm pretty sure. Oh, my God. Throws the auto turrets down. But well, look, yeah, as, look at this. Even one tank with this army. Yeah, the you, army you see there from Maru, TY cannot engage. His no. entire army together could not engage If that. your army is turned orange, you have to run if you see a siege <laughs> tank in siege mode. Well, even if he has all his BCs there, he can't do it. So he has to do moves like this, where he's actually going across the map, hitting somewhere else. <laughs> Beautiful Ru that runs in Yamato's jumps so out. So sick. So sick. Oh my god. Sure. But now it's just gonna turn into Viking Raven BC on both sides. TY looking for another fight here. And maybe I mean you can still have some Marines running around doing damage, but I'm talking about the main armies. This is some pretty insane engagements over here. Again though, not breaking him. Now, TY is reclaiming territory here in the upper left. We have, as is par for the course, a routine battlecruiser uh, drive-by here. And as the Vikings, which again, Vikings are very slow. As the Vikings get over here, the battlecruisers just warp back. Yeah, he's got to do it right now. Okay. You see those preemptive scans out in the front. Yeah. He's watching for them to come, because if they get Whoa. there, he loses. Oh, a huge move. He actually beams on top of it, the army over here. Oh, this here. is so insane. And look at this. Oh, this is going to be what it's all position. decided. This, he just got him completely out of position. The he, Vikings are too oh slow to come back. Oh, my God. Look at this. Throwing down the auto turrets, trying to stop him from coming in. And the Vikings targeting down some of these Ravens. He's still got the Marines underneath, so Vikings cannot do this alone. Yeah, I actually don't know that Maro could take this fight. I the Marines right. coming back here, but now the Battlecruisers have nowhere to retreat. Oh my God, it's carnage everywhere. There is oh, a million Vikings he's here. He's going to kill them all off. He's closing in here on the bottom right. Yeah, There's Maru. no more map to run to. Still has 25 Vikings there. Easily got to <laughs> clean up the BCs. And ends up taking that one down. You can oh see it was God. strategically such a cool move from TY, but Maru's showing the strength of the army he's built all game long. And also the reason why you need to always warp back home. You can't warp into a counterattack unless you know it's going to win the game because he's lost all of his battlecruiser assets that he was building up to this entire game. And now Maru is making PCs of his own. And in what is one of the funnier looking TVTs I've ever casted, there's a comical amount of Vikings out mm. that can now land and fight anything on the ground or lift off and fight <laughs> anything in the air. Yeah, and Maru adding BCs into this mix, as well as just a few siege tanks. A few siege tanks will basically hedge against everything. He's got the air advantage. He's going to have the BC advantage and a few tanks to top it off. Maru has made the ultimate army here. How does TY break through? Is it even possible? Well, he is switching heavily back into Bayou. You see five medevacs being made. You see five ravens being made. So, I mean, he's going to try to disable everything and then just win with Marines. Yeah. Okay, he's coming in here now. I think Marlon can push to this position. The Battlecruisers are just too many right now. More Marines are gathering up. But again, the air support here with these Vikings. The Vikings can land at any time. So there's no way to win this fight by air. But by ground also seems to be impossible Ooh. for TY as well. Yeah, Maru is just plowing through absolutely everything. Going to pick off a ton of SCVs, kills those bases, going after the command centers now as well. He's now pushing up through the top, continuing to armor shred here, but the battle cruisers simply move away. Oh my god, gets the uh, command center. And look but how again, many Ravens and Vikings he has at this point as well. It's But it does seem like the sheer amount of Vikings that Mario has is really the strongest thing. Hmm. I want to see here. the actual counts at this point, because I think actually we have TY, I believe, in the air lead now. Look at that. Look at that cloud. This might be the number you were talking about when you know how to stop making BCs. Yeah. If you have too many, you don't have enough supply of other things. The amount of Vikings that TY has made. I mean, if you just take like armor shreds out of the equation because everything's going to be orange. And Dude. I mean, if he just disables a few units, I think TY can actually kill this army. Look at this. And push. that's why you see mass turrets going down. Yeah. Oh he, my he, God, here we go. It's a very unconventional push he's doing here. He warps away. I don't know how well this is actually going to work out. Is TY going to come back? He's starting to take out more of these battle cruisers. Mm, doing some disables here, punishing where he can. 
Yeah, these turrets will finish, but they'll be torn down momentarily. <laughs> Jumps that BC out. Doesn't want to lose it. The Marines kind of push through. Look at that. 25 Vikings for TY, 22 for Maru. 12 Ravens against two. That's the big difference. So it's 12 BCs against 12 Ravens. Yeah. I mean, that's enough disables right there for TY if he can hit them. I can't believe TY has managed to stretch this game out. This has been absolute madness. Let's also remember that Maru is going to mine out first. He's had more the left side of the map for most of the game. Oh. The rest of his minerals are going now into turrets as he's trying to basically do a, a, mm. an alternative-looking Terran push where the uh, turrets yeah. operate like siege tanks to cover. Well, he, this makes a lot of sense to throw the turrets down because there's not a lot you can do to fight the turrets. Maybe you can throw down auto turrets. But when there's siege tanks with them, it's hard to engage that with your Marines, which is really the only other thing TY has. The only thing he has to clear the ground. So if he makes enough turrets, if he sieges up a few tanks, TY has to go elsewhere. And you can see TY identifying that immediately. Look at this. As Maru moves in at another base, TY going to counter towards the main. TY going to go for production this time. Maybe try to get in here, destroy the barracks, destroy the factories, destroy the starports. All right, Maru going to fly back. Now, Maru did take that base out. So right now, TY is mining from one location. You see his minerals growing as if this was the early game of a StarCraft mm -hmm. match. Look at this. All right. Oh, my God. Immediate armor shot on most of the Vikings there. A Viking lead of two right now for TY. But he does have far more Ravens, which is very important. He has far more Marines as well. It's the BC count. That's the big difference here for Maru. But how useful are those BCs going to be? Shooting down everything here in the natural. He's got Vikings to cover the main. Oh, look at this micro from Maru. Comes up, gets some volleys. Really nice. A misstep on either side could cost the game here. Battlecruiser's actually going to come up here again. I think this is a great move by Maru. He's barely yeah. hanging on. Uh, the main base is about to get shut down here, but he's going to go take out the last. Uh, that's actually, there's no minerals there anyways. Yeah, even less than TY's out, man. He needs to win, and that's the move he's making is of winning quality. Yes. <laughs> so he might be able to do it still. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that Maro has a way to directly deal with the army. And actually, Maro's almost mined at his side of the map. And losing production means you just can't make anything else. Mm -hmm. You can make more of your own production buildings, but then all your minerals are gone. Yeah, yeah. This is just neck and neck right now. This is the craziest TVT I've ever one, seen. One of them is going to end up forcing this an is, engagement somewhere. Yeah. Now, I, I see, think TY actually can win this. But I think I, Maro can win it. I am not... Uh, I'm not sure. I think it'll, dep it'll depend on how the Ravens cast, right? Oh, Keep in mind, there's you know not what? a lot of places to jump to for the Battlecruisers that are actually advantageous. That's true. But Maro's also taking the space at the center right that was supposed to go to TY. And maybe with these Battlecruisers doing damage over here, it'll allow an opening where this can't be oh, contested. God. Oh, oh God. Siege take on Siege. This is a great movie. He has oh. to beam home. He has to beam home right now with those BCs. Here we go. Oh, man, does do the armor shred, but there are way too many Marines here. The BCs start to fly back. He does not jump them in. Interesting choice. Wow. I mean, if he jumps them in there, the game gets decided instantaneously. But that Instead, means he's forcing the base trade to continue. TY wins that fight, and there's certainly more base for Maru here. He just there has is. more stuff on the map. He does. He does. It's all true. Now look at this, TY seeing if he can catch something. It doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Very yeah. close, but Maru getting out by the skin of his teeth. TY rotating with his Marines once again. He knows where the BCs are and where they aren't. Again, Maru is now mined out. I think there's one or two patches here or there, but if you look at his supply now, almost no gas, 400 minerals. And TY is going to try to sneak into this side of the map that actually <laughs> he never really got to fully mine from. That's true. Now, That's if true. TY can just sit on that and not die for a couple minutes, he'll win the game, mm. uh, in theory, depending on how dramatic the fights are. Well, he's got to build so many supply depots at this point. Oh, that's actually a good point. Yeah, you know, you're he's totally right. He's too low in supply. No, you're totally right. Yeah. That's wild. There's so many factors at play here. Yeah. SCD's mining um, now over at that base. Oh, he's, now, this is great by Maro. He's added in a few tanks, and he's throwing down some more barracks. He wants to go back into a traditional, Makes sense. A, a traditional style of TDT. Oh, my God. 
uh, so many disables. I don't know that the BCs can fight back. The tanks are sieged up. Uh, the tank's definitely getting some value in there. He's flying back over the rest of his base right now. The BCs are mostly out of commission. That's it. Oh GG, TY taps out. God. And Maru barely going to take that one. That oh was insane. Oh, my God. That was one of the most insane games ever.